Yesterday, AMD launched a black colored variant of its big Navi graphics card known as the Radeon RX 6800 XT Midnight Black. Now the variant is a limited edition model which has the same specifications as the reference model but comes with an all black cooler scheme which looks quite impressive. The AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT Midnight Black is stated to be made after the company received a huge demand for it. This prompted AMD to release an all black variant for a select quantity of its 6800 XT graphics cards. Now the card is primarily targeted at the AMD Red Team members since they received an early notification that the cards were going to be on sale so that they could buy them. As of right now, of course, the card is listed over at AMD's official shop for a price of $649.99 US, but as you would expect, it's marked as out of stock, which means that the initial stock has run quite dry. The Radeon RX 6800 XT Midnight Black Edition might make a return on the AMD shop in a few weeks, but considering its limited nature and the fact that Red Team members will be notified, typical regular customers will have a really hard time getting their hands on such a limited product unless they signed up for their newsletter. Now the best bet would be search eBay at this point or online to see if someone's selling this card at, of course, really gouged up prices. Now in other Radeon news, AMD's upcoming Radeon Pro graphics card based on the Big Navi GPU with RDNA 2 graphics architecture has been pictured in a fresh leak posted over at Chip Hell forums. Now the leak shows AMD's next generation Radeon Pro graphics card in its flesh along with a brand new shroud design that will be featuring on the new Radeon Pro content creator lineup. It's been a while since AMD updated its high-end Radeon Pro lineup with a brand new architecture and it looks like RDNA 2 will be the go to for this one. Now the existing lineup consisted of several Vega GPU based variants serving as a top end segment while the first generation RDNA GPUs based on Navi 10 SKUs serve the budget and mainstream segments. Now based on the looks of the card, the AMD Radeon Pro will come with a brand new shroud design that will incorporate a blue and silver scheme and the card features a dual slot design with a blower style fan and will push air through the internal heatsink comprising of several aluminum fins and a vapor chamber. As for the specifications, while the leaker doesn't explicitly mention any details, the backside of the new AMD Radeon Pro graphics card states that it will be based on a GLXL a1 ASIC, and this seems to point out a specific configuration of the big Navi, or more specifically, Navi 21, for the gaming side of things. Now, AMD has three Navi 21 SKUs, which include the Navi 21 XTX for the 6900 XT, the XT for the 6800 XT, and the XL for the 6800. All three SKUs feature different core configurations, but yet again, we can't really say which specific SKU configuration the Radeon Pro GPU will be using. But in terms of memory, the card is listed with 16 gigabytes of Samsung memory. And this confirms that the Radeon Pro card will be based on the Navi 21 GPU and will retain a 256 bit bus interface and will most likely additionally carry the 128 megabytes of infinity cache. Now the PCB design is a slight modification of the reference AMD RX 6000 or Big Navi series graphics cards and power is provided through dual 8 pin connectors and what's also important to note here is that the card pictured is an engineering sample. The AMD Radeon Pro lineup featuring Big Navi GPUs will go up against Nvidia's Ampere workstation lineup which currently includes the 48GB RTX A6000 and the soon to be included and rumored 24GB RTX a5000 and the 16 gigabyte RTX A4000. So having just 16 gigabytes of memory on a professional card may seem to suggest that either AMD is going for the performance per dollar route or a faster SKU is also in the works, which will be unveiled at the launch. Now we don't know when the card is going to launch or what its price is going to be like, but the picture seems to suggest that AMD may be ready for an announcement soon. Hey guys, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you like what you've seen, make sure you hit the subscribe button down here in this corner and check out a video that you may have missed in our lineup. And we'll catch you in the next one.